enjoy your flat stomach while you can, honey. Didn't we think we were gonna have a happy ending? You're gonna swell up like a dead fish one of these days. I miss my family. Would you go steady with me? <laughs> <laughs> it's been a great sacrifice. Death puts a lot of things in perspective. The recognition that you can't do anything over, you know, you can't change anything or you can never say another word to that human being again, that'll change you. I'm not even dreaming about exercise or anything. I wake up in a puddle, just drenched. And what does a man, he looks over and sees a glistening woman, thinks he's still got it. <laughs> I don't like it, you know, and I don't have to like it. I have to survive it. I don't want to die alone. I am not the person I was when we started rolling on all of this. And I don't ever want to be that person again. And I don't want to be the person that just spoke those very words. I just want to keep moving forward, keep taking positive steps. This is as private of me as it gets, and it feels a little bit uncomfortable.